Savannah, and I'm a drama instructor with Able Arts Work. Today we will be doing a narrative pantomime activity. You don't need any materials except your imagination and a quiet space to play. Let's get started! Now don't worry, pantomime is just a fancy word for pretend. I'm going to begin to tell a story in which the main character is you. So your job is to pretend like it's actually happening. If I say you drink a cup of coffee, you would go <sighs> pantomiming drinking a cup of coffee, pretending. Now on this side of the screen, I will be telling the story. And on this side of the screen, I will be modeling what a narrative pantomime might look like. But feel free to wander around and let your imagination soar. Now find a comfortable space where you can outstretch your arms or legs to full capacity and let's begin. Now imagine you are inside a small box. The box is big enough for you to be comfortable, but not quite big enough to stand up in. In your hand is a paintbrush, and at your feet is a large can of paint. Pick up the paint and feel how heavy it is. This is a magic, color-changing paint. Each time you dip your brush in the paint, it comes out whatever color you want. The paint won't get on your clothes, and it dries instantly. Pretty cool, huh? Paint the inside of your box with the magic paint. You may paint it any color or colors you want, and don't forget to paint the ceiling and the floor. Remember that since your paint dries instantly, you won't end up painting yourself into a corner. Be as creative as you want. It's your box. When you're finished, put down the paint can, keep the brush, you'll need it. Because now there's another can of paint in your hand. This is magic door paint. If you paint a door on one wall of your box with the magic door paint, it will become a real door that opens. Don't forget to paint the door knob. Once you have painted on your door, Use it to step outside of your box. You may want to stretch a little. A little. It was kind of cramped in there, wasn't it? Walk all around your box. The inside is very nice. The outside needs something. Paint! Reach inside your box and retrieve the can of color-changing paint. Use it to paint the outside of your box any way you'd like. Maybe you'll even paint a peaked roof or castle turnips onto your box. They all look wonderful. If you want windows or more doors, you can use the door paint. It's your little house, so make it the way you want. They all look fantastic. Thank you for painting with your imagination with me. Now if you have friends, family, or caretakers nearby, invite them over to see and experience your box. Remember, they can't see it, so you will need to use your imagination and your words or any other communication method to show them your box and show them how special it is. We'll see you next time.